Brought to you by Wikivd Documentaries. Saw franchise. Saw is an American horror franchise distributed by Lionsgate Entertainment, produced by Twisted Pictures and created by two Australians, director James Wan and screenwriter Lee Winnell, that consists of seven feature films and additional media. In 2003, James Wan and Lee Winnell created a short film to help pitch as a potential feature film. This was successfully done in 2004, with the release of the first installment at the Sundance Film Festival. It was released theatrically that October. The sequels were directed by Darren Limbusman, David Hackle, and Kevin Groitit, and were written by Juan, Wanel, Busman, Patrick Melton, and Marcus Dunstan, and were released subsequently every October, on the Friday before Halloween. Between 2004 and 2010, both of the creators remained with the franchise as executive producers. On July 22, 2010, producer Mark Berg confirmed that the seventh film, Saw 3D, is the final installment of the series. Series creators James Wan and Lee Winnell are still open to continuing the series, however, if they can do something different. With the material, the films collectively grossed over $873 million at the box office worldwide. Lionsgate reportedly expressed interest in continuing the franchise in 2012 with a reboot. However, in November 2013, it was reported that they were in active development of a sequel. The franchise revolves around John Kramer, also called the Jigsaw Killer or simply Jigsaw. He was introduced briefly in Saw and developed in more detail in Saw 2, rather than killing his victims outright. Jigsaw traps them in situations that he calls tests or games to test their will to live through physical or psychological torture. Despite the fact that John was murdered in Saw 3, the films continue to focus on the posthumous influence of the Jigsaw killer and his apprentices by exploring his character via flashbacks. The film series as a whole has received mostly mixed to negative reviews by critics but has been a financial success at the box office and is one of the highest grossing horror film franchises of all time. While the films are often compared to the American horror film Hostel, and classified as torture porn by critics, the creators of Saw disagree with the term torture porn. Writer Luke Y. Thompson of OC Weekly argued that, unlike Hostel, the Saw films actually have less torture than most in the sense of sadism and masochism, as Jigsaw believes that those who survive his methods will be stronger people for it. He called him a kind of a philanthropist. Overview Flashbacks from Saw IV revealed the roots of the series. Presenting John Kramer as a successful civil engineer and devoted husband to his wife Jill Tuck, who opened a rehab clinic for drug addicts. Jill lost her unborn baby, Gideon, due to the unwitting actions of a drug addict named Cecil, who fled the scene. Saw by later showed that another drug addict, Amanda Young, also had an unintentional role in the death of Gideon. John grieved over the loss of his child, and distanced himself from his friends and his wife. John and Jill eventually drifted apart, and divorced. After this turn of events, John found himself trapped by his own complacency, until he was diagnosed with inoperable cancer, extremely bitter over his squandered life and the loss of his unborn son, John began observing the lives of others, and became even more depressed as he saw those around him squandering the gift of life that he had just been denied. John went to a man named William Easton to get money for a cancer treatment, but was denied. Flashbacks from Saw 2 show that, after surviving a suicide attempt, where he drove his car off a cliff, John was reborn, and nurtured the idea that the only way 
for someone to change is for them to change themselves. Then, in Saw IV flashbacks, he designed the first trap and test for Cecil and decided to use the rest of his existence to design more of these tests or games as a form of instant rehabilitation that would change the world one person at a time. John was soon given the name the Jigsaw Killer because he removed a puzzle piece shaped chunk of flesh from those who did not escape his traps. John stated that this name was given to him by the media and that the cut piece of flesh was meant to represent that these victims were each missing something, what he called the survival instinct. Few of Jigsaw's victims are able to survive his brutal mechanical traps, which are often ironically symbolic representations of the problems in the victim's life and require them to undergo severe physical and psychological torture to escape. In Saw v. Police Lieutenant Mark Hoffman's ties with John are revealed in a series of flashbacks. During the film, Hoffman's sister is murdered by her boyfriend, Seth Baxter. Seth is arrested. However, a technicality allowed him to be released and Hoffman, feeling Seth had not served the full capacity of his sentence, kills him in an inescapable trap designed to look like one of Jigsaw's, laying the blame on him. Jigsaw then kidnaps Hoffman and blackmails him into becoming his apprentice in his rehabilitation methods, though eventually Hoffman would become a willing apprentice, helping set up John's tests from almost the beginning, starting with Paul's trap. The first surviving victim, Amanda Young, views Jigsaw as a hero who ultimately changed her life. For the better, Amanda, upon Jigsaw's request, agrees to become in his protege. After Amanda survives, John shows Jill her rehabilitation, and Jill then becomes knowledgeable of John's traps and becomes somewhat of an accomplice as well. In sort, Jigsaw has chained the man who diagnosed his cancer drive, Lawrence Gordon, in a dilapidated industrial washroom with Adam Stanheit a photographer who has been tailing the doctor due to a former police detective's suspicions that Gordon is Jigsaw. Lawrence has instructions to kill Adam by six o'clock or else his wife and daughter will be killed. Flashbacks show detectives David Tapp and Stephen Singh, who suspect Lawrence of being Jigsaw, following a trail of clues from other Jigsaw traps. Singh's death from a shotgun trap after saving a victim named Jeff causes Tap to obsess over catching Jigsaw. Later on, he chases Zepp Hindle, who monitors Adam and Lawrence's tests, and gets shot in the chest. Eventually, Lawrence saws his own foot off in order to escape, leaving Adam in the bathroom while Lawrence goes to try to save his family and get help for Adam. It is later seen in Saw 3D that Dr. Gordon found a steaming hot pipe and cauterized his wound, stopping the bleeding and ultimately surviving the trap. John catches up with Gordon and makes him his next apprentice, a fact which he hides from his other accomplices. Flashbacks from Saw 3 show that Amanda kidnapped Adam and later returned to suffocate him as an act of Mercy killing. Saw 2 begins with the police tracking a severely weakened Jigsaw to his lair. However, another test is in place, as he and Amanda have kidnapped the son of Detective Eric Matthews and trapped him and a group of seven convicts, previously framed by Matthews, in a house that is slowly being filled with sarin gas, with Amanda Young among them. He will trade Daniel Matthews' life for Detective Matthews' time, conversing with him until the game is concluded. Matthews loses his patience and assaults Jigsaw, forcing him to take him to the house, only to discover that the video feed from inside the house had been pre-recorded, the events actually taking place much earlier. Matthew's son was locked in a safe in Jigsaw's warehouse, being kept alive with an oxygen tank. 
Matthews is knocked unconscious by a masked figure and wakes up imprisoned in the bathroom from sort which is part of the foundation of the house. Amanda reveals herself to Eric as Jigsaw's protege before leaving him to die. In a flashback from Saw 3, Matthews manages to escape the bathroom by breaking his foot. He confronts and beats Amanda, demanding to know where his son is. Amanda fights him off and leaves him for dead. A flashback from Saw IV shows Hoffman later dragging Eric to a prison cell, keeping him alive. For a future game, the events of Saw 3 and Saw IV occur concurrently. Saw 3 begins with Jigsaw weak and near death confined to a makeshift hospital bed. Amanda has taken over his work, designing traps of her own, however, these traps are inescapable. As Amanda is convinced that Jigsaw's traps have no effect and that people don't change, a kidnapped doctor is forced to keep Jigsaw alive while another test is performed on Jeff, a man obsessed with vengeance against the drunk driver who killed his son. Jigsaw, unwilling to allow a murderer to continue his legacy, designs a test for Amanda as well. She ultimately fails, and it results in the deaths of both Jigsaw and Amanda. Saw IV, meanwhile, revolves around tests meant for Officer Daniel Rigg, which are overseen by Hoffman. Rigg fails his test, resulting in the death of Eric Matthews. Rigg is left to bleed to death by Hoffman, who later discovers the bodies of Jigsaw and Amanda. When an autopsy is performed on Jigsaw, a cassette tape coated in wax is found in his stomach. The tape informs Hoffman that he's wrong to think that it is all over just because Jigsaw is dead, and he should not expect to go untested. The events of Saw V show one of Hoffman's first solo tests, five people connected together by different roles in a disastrous fire that killed several others are put into four interconnected tests of teamwork, killing off one person in each trap. The two remaining test subjects realize at the final trap that each previous trap was meant to be completed by each of the five people doing a small part, rather than killing one person per trap. With this knowledge, the two work together and barely manage to escape. They are found alive by Special Agent Erickson. Meanwhile, Hoffman has set up FBI agent Peter Stram to appear to be Jigsaw's accomplice. While Stram pursues Hoffman and is eventually killed due to his inability to follow Hoffman's rules, leaving Hoffman free to continue Jigsaw's work. Saw Vi begins with Hoffman setting up a game as per John's instructions left in a box for Jill during Saw V. This game centers on an insurance executive named William East and who oversees a team responsible for rejecting two-thirds of all insurance claims. As William progresses through four tests, he saves as many people as he can and learns the error of his choice to reject so many policies which inherently kill the rejected. His last test is revealed to be a test of forgiveness by the family of Harold Abbott, a man to whom William rejected a policy in the past, whose son ultimately chooses to kill William using hydrofluoric acid. Meanwhile, Agent Erickson and the previously thought to be dead Agent Lindsay Perez search for Agent Stram. With the assistance of Hoffman, Upon finding irregularities in previous murder scenes, Perez and Erickson discover Hoffman's identity, but are killed by him before they can go public. With his involvement, Hoffman travels back to the site of William's tests in which Jill attacks him to obey John's final request. She leaves Hoffman in a new reverse bear trap left behind by John, though does not leave a key for him to free himself. He is able to manipulate the trap and escapes wounded. Saw 3D picks up with Jill and Hoffman battling for control of Jigsaw's legacy. As Jill enters protective custody, 
and makes Hoffman's true identity public, Hoffman sets up a new game involving skinheads to find a way to Jill. Meanwhile, Bobby Dagan, a fraud who has written a book about escaping a jigsaw trap he never experienced, is captured and forced to confront people who knew that he lied about being in a trap. Three of Dagan's friends die and his test concludes with him being forced to reenact the trap that he claimed to have survived before. He fails, which results in the death of his wife. Meanwhile, Hoffman has posed as a corpse and killed several officers to infiltrate the police station. He finds and kills Jill using the reverse bear trap. Hoffman attempts to leave town, but is captured by Lawrence Gordon and his accomplices, then placed in the bathroom from the first film, revealing Jigsaw aided Gordon after his game and, in return, Gordon helped with subsequent traps. Hoffman is then left shackled in the bathroom to die. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by Wikivd Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.